Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we have an all new Mega Bundle for Unity. This is the first new Mega Bundle since, well, you know what happened. And there's a lot of people that have decided to move on from Unity forever, and for that I completely understand. Some people are a little bit more hesitant to spend any more money on the Unity Asset Store. So they're gonna have to make this bundle very convincing for people to buy it, and they did. Wow, this bundle has a hell of a deal. So we're gonna jump in and take a look at everything here. Uh, this Mega Bundle is the 23 for 23, that is you get 23 assets for $23. It is the best of 2023. Now, that's a bit of a misnomer. This isn't literally the best stuff, but what it is is all stuff that was released in 2023. By the way, even if you don't use Unity or you're not going to keep using Unity forever, there are ways to get these assets out into other game engines. I will have those linked down below. So if you want to export them out to Blender or Godot or Unreal or whatever, you can do so. And by the way, you can legally do so in the vast majority of cases as well. All right, so we're going to take a look at this bundle. Now, it's organized into two tiers, and I think Unity is going for a prize here of the most most insane tier ever. Normally, this is Humble's territory. Their, their median, median tiers are, uh, they're set by the average price, but generally, they make no sense. Well, this one is just set, and it makes no sense at all. So you can either spend $20 and get some assets, or $23 and get all the assets. When I'm talking about the difference here, that $3, so here's the $20 tier, and then here is the uh, $23 tier, which, by the way, includes all of the, the 20 so, yeah, you're, you're going to spend 23 bucks, or you're going to spend nothing. This $20 tier literally makes no sense, so I'm going to completely pretend it doesn't exist and just look at everything as a single tier. So let's do a quick run-through of what is in this bundle. Uh, first off, we have Dreamscape Nature Mountain Stylized Open World Environment. That kind of says it all. It's pretty straightforward in terms of what you are getting there. Um, you can, again, go through some of the screenshots here. And then next up, we have... The Abandoned Industrial Factory Environment. Now, this is uh, Laerty Studios. They actually have a Humble bundle on right now. They make really high-quality stuff. I'll link that Humble down below as well if you want to check it out. Uh, so that bundle actually has stuff for Unity and Unreal Engine. Very good. Uh, this one is, again, um, another straightforward asset bundle. It's for the URP and the HDRP uh, for an abandoned factory setting. Uh, we have the Stylized Fantasy Environment uh, from Rhinox Studios. Uh, we have the live script reload or on device hot reload. Um, so this is actually kind of neat. So you can iterate on code insanely fast without breaking play sessions directly on device, play, make changes, see results. So it basically gives you hot reload inside of the Unity game engine. Nice feature and functionality that one. Obviously, this won't be uh, portable to other game engines here. You get the RPG Monster Bundle Poly Art here, a bunch of low polygon monsters. As you can see the results right there. Um, so if this meshes with the art style of your game, could be a good pickup. Uh, then we have the uh, Mountain Lake Forest Pack, another environment pack. Again, you can see the results as we flip through them right here. Uh, in terms of pipelines, this is all three are, are supported, which is always nice to see. Uh, next up, we have the character auras uh, three. And so basically a bunch of particle effects around a character. So if you're doing spell effects or shield effects and so on, uh, this one is, again, for all three major pipelines as well. And next week, we got Upixelator. Uh, there's a couple of these things. They're actually kind of cool. They basically take a, um, you, know, you know, a traditional 3D rendered scene and render it in a pixelated art form. So if you're trying to get that uh, pixelated style, but your uh, source material is full 3D, uh, this is basically a shader library on top of that, gives you the ability to pixelate your 3D scene. Uh, obviously, you've got control over how much pixelation, subpixels, and so on. Uh, next up, we have the Editor Enhancers Bundle. Uh, so this one probably requires some explanation. It consists of six assets with $130 total value, uh, V hierarchy, the organized hierarchies with icons, colors, and more, folders, icons, and colors to folders, V tabs, create tabs for folders, assets, and objects, favorites, so pin the most used assets for quick access, a ruler for measuring distances, and, and an inspector, a large script inspector that looks clean. So it's basically an overall kind of facelift of tools for uh, the editor, which is, again, nice to see. We get JUTPS, the third person shooter game kit and vehicle physics. Uh, this sounds like a new version of something that we had in a previous bundle, to be honest. Versus there's all three major pipelines. Uh, so it is things like third person control, realistic locomotion, realistic rotation, root motion support, resizable collider, advanced ragdoll systems, uh, and so on and so forth. So you see good controls for creating those games. You got things here for AI, zombie AI, vehicle AI, and so on. Uh, basically, all the stuff you need to make a third-person shooter-style game. Uh, Transitions Plus, 
And this one, again, is for all three major asset uh, pipelines. That's the nice thing about this bundle. Since everything was released in 2023, we're seeing a lot of support for all three major pipelines in this one. Um, so create all sorts of smooth transitions between scenes and cameras. It comes with 19 different effects. Uh, so heat, complete modern UI. Uh, see some of the screenshots of this guy. So a uh, fully featured demo scene to get you started. Easy to use stylish custom editor tools, 13 different UI elements, easy to use custom localization system, customize your entire UI easily with the UI manager. So if you need to have a, um, you know, a UI layer on top, Heat provides that for you. Uh, this again works with all three major pipelines. Uh, we've got DLSS for Unity. Uh, so this is, um, you know, DLSS, uh, the upsampling solution. Uh, this does exactly that, works for all three major pipelines. So it's an implementation of DLSS for um, all three pipelines. Although interestingly, so both built-in and ERP are standard, are simple drag and drop. So it looks like HDRP has a little bit more work required. But if you want to have, oh, sorry, no, HDRP is not supported at all. Nah, take that back. Uh, so uh, it is for built-in and URP only in that case. But if you want to have DLS support, which is like an upscaling solution, uh, you can see the results that you get a whole bunch more frames out of uh, supporting DLSS. Uh, next up, we have a uh, modular stylized character. Uh, so this is uh, all three major pipelines, uh, customizable outfits, male and female bodies, human rig, uh, no animations included, by the way. Built-in samples uses the post-effect uh, stack, sorry. Uh, male and female body type, four eye shapes, 14 hairstyles, three body outfits, seven tops, six bottoms, and seven pieces of shoes. So you can make a number of different characters out of that. Uh, we've got the MFPS mobile uh this is the best multiplayer first person shooter game template optimized for mobile devices so if you're going to create a first person shooter on a mobile device could be a good template for you we got the retro horror template obviously uh resident evil style games so it looks like you have like inventory uh the the tank combat system set up uh, mapping system uh, looks like an interesting pickup, actually, uh, only for built-in pipeline, unfortunately. Uh, next up, we have the dinosaur pack with bebes. Uh, so you see a wide variety of dinosaurs here. This is for uh, the ERP and the built-in. So all the dinosaurs have 16 animations from all the ones you see available right there. Uh, and the dinosaurs include all of these ones. So you have uh, you have 64 different dinosaurs, and all of them have uh, 16 different animations. So pretty comprehensive pack there. We have the Breeze Advanced Character Behavior. Uh, so we got all three major pipelines supported here. Uh, easy setup, modular shooting, modular melee, uh, melee weapon blocking, built-in waypoint system. Uh, quite a bit here, actually, and... Uh, built-in integrations with a number of different systems and kits that are out there as well. Uh, next up, we have better fog. So it's height fog, light scattering, and more. You saw the before and the after in that video right there. So if you want to add fog to your scene and you do not like the built-in implementation, uh, this works with uh, the ERP and the built-in pipeline. And you see the capabilities of it right there. Another Google kit. This one is uh, you know basically raw resources, it seems, for making a casual fantasy-style game. So, you know, buttons and banners and text and all that stuff. Uh, this one is supporting, I have no idea. No pipeline list there, all right? Uh, it, it's straight graphics. I could assume it works for all asset pipelines there. Uh, which hag animation? So uh, a number of uh, animations for a hag style character. Uh, pretty straightforward, all three major pipelines. Your animations include all of the ones you see right there, the total of 106 animations. Uh, we've got the medieval fantasy ruins, dark forest environment. Uh, um, so this one is uh, only for the HDRP, which is kind of unfortunate, uh, but it is a forest environment like this, a modular kit for creating that setup. Uh, next up, we have the stylized pirate port city. Uh, this is style arts. I think this is a beautiful asset, to be honest. That's why I used it for the thumbnail for this particular video. And it is everything you see here to make um, this stylized environment you see in front of you. Um, I feel like I lost mouse focus here. Let's see if we have an overview asset link. Yeah, so you got a variety of different uh, props, creatures, ships docks, buildings, and so on. So if you're creating a pirate-style game, uh, a complete kit for you, uh, everything ready to go. This one is for the URP and the HDRP pipelines in this case. And that is the bundle, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, a hell of a lot of value for $23. And the nice thing, again, is everything here was released in 2023. Uh, so as we saw, most of them support a variety of pipelines. Probably, I would say, about 17 out of the 23 supported the major pipelines. Um, 
And yeah, it's it seems like pretty solid value. Again, I know a lot of people are going to be a little turned off by Unity right now, or a lot turned off by Unity right now. I, I will remind you again, uh, so even if you pick something up in this ecosystem, if you're willing to jump through some hoops, you can actually export it out. Again, those links will be down below. Uh, but yeah, what do you think of this particular bundle? Are you still buying stuff on the asset store? And if so, has this one brought you in? It's the value there. Let me know. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.